to you today from my brother's kitchen. I'm going to cook him some dinner today. Coming in from sunny California, the gateway to the redwoods. It's so gorgeous out here. But enough about that, and let's get to cooking. Okay, I'm making my homemade pasta sauce today. Um, my brother loves it. He hasn't had it for a while, so it's going to be a nice um, caramelized onion and mushroom pasta sauce. My grandmother's recipe, I put a little a couple things extra into there to make it my own. So um, let's get started. First of all, you're going to need a big pot. <laughs> We're going to put that on mm, a medium-high heat because we want to caramelize those onions and those mushrooms. And we're going to get some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to put a good couple teaspoons in here. I tell you, it's beautiful out here. You have to come visit sometime. The redwood trees are amazing. Oh, if you've never been to California, you have to come visit, let me tell you. Now this sauce, I'm going to be putting on my site, and I'm, it's going to be for sale. So that's coming up in the near future. Whoops. Now, to this, I'm going to let that oil heat up really good. So I'm going to put some white onions. I have a half of a large onion here. I have portobello mushrooms, which I already chopped up, so you don't have to watch me do that. I have four cloves of garlic here. I also have some tomato paste. I have all my spices. I'm using dried spices for this. I have parsley, oregano, basil, pepper, and of course, I have the garlic. And I also have two big cans of whole tomatoes. Now, of course, you can buy fresh and blanch them and peel them all you want. That takes so much time, so it's just a lot easier buying the cans for this. Okay, so that oil is nice and hot now. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. And let those start caramelizing here. And I'm going to add my mushrooms as well at the same time. Stir them up. Onions smell great. Like I said before, they really need to invent smell o vision I tell you, someone make a lot of money off of that. <laughs> Which is a way. Okay, so I'm going to leave those alone for a little bit, okay? And I'll get back to them. But now, these tomatoes, they're, they're whole, of course. So what I'm going to do, put these in the blender. So they could make a sauce. I use my fingers. You could use a spoon if you like. I like to get into my cooking now, you know? Let's try and lift this up. It might be a little bit easier for me. Of course, I'm going to wash my hands after. And these come packed in um, juice already. So, I'm going to leave a couple whole ones in there for texture to the sauce. Okay, let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. And we're going to pulse this. Perfect. That off. Put that back into the bowl. How simple is that? What did that take? Ten seconds? Why can't anybody do this? You know? Okay. Getting back to my onions and my mushrooms. Here, there we go. Nice and caramelized for you. That's what you want it to look like right before you add the garlic. Now to that, I'm going to be adding the garlic. I'm 
because we don't want that garlic to burn. We just want the flavor to come out of it. Oh, I tell you what, if you can smell this, it's wonderful. I tell you, it's so, so good. Oh my goodness. Now, you saw how that was caramelized. I put the garlic in and it's been about a minute. So now, we're gonna add everything else. Those tomatoes that I pureed, right in. So we have a couple big chunks of tomatoes in there as well. We're gonna break those up with the spoon, give it some texture. There we go. Give that a nice stir. Now, I'm gonna add my spices. Of course, this is parsley, oregano, basil, and pepper. I like a lot of spice. Go ahead and stir that in. Then I'm going to add some tomato paste. You want one small can of tomato paste. And I have two cups of water standing by because, you know, you're going to need water to add water to this because it gets thick as it cooks. See that big chunk of tomato? Let's cut that up. Now this sauce that I'm making today is my homemade own recipe and will be for sale online. So I will make it fresh, ship it fresh to you. Here we go. Now all we need to do is cover it and let it cook. Let it simmer for probably about three hours and then you have the finished product. This is one hour into the cooking. See the color has changed. Two more hours to go. Hi. Three hours later, it is finished and it smells delicious. Now, this was my quick version of my sauce using the dried herbs and now if I make it fresh for you, I'm going to use fresh herbs and fresh tomatoes made totally from scratch. Doesn't that look amazing? So, there you have my homemade sauce. Until next time, manja. Enjoy!